we've got Rage of the Abyss TCG exclusive cards, which like I said, I have I've heard of some of these, but I haven't read them actually. So let's go over these because these will literally release this week and we're going to talk about Rage of the Abyss a little bit more later of what's going to happen this week in the TCG. We've got some exciting stuff happening. So let's go over these. We've got Denial Deity Dotan, which is a warrior level 10 fusion and it requires a light monster plus two monsters, but they cannot be on the field or in the graveyard. Uh, okay. This fusion summoned card cannot be destroyed by battle. As long as no monsters on your field or graveyard share an original name with any monster on your opponent's field or graveyard, monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. You can send from your hand deck or extra deck to the graveyard a monster with the same original name as a monster on your opponent's field or graveyard, then target one card on their field or graveyard, banish it. Okay, so what you're saying is, if my opponent has an Ash Blossom in the graveyard, and I play Ash Blossom in my deck, because this effect is not hard once per turn, I can just send three Ashes from my deck to the graveyard to banish three cards. And then I can do the same thing for all the other cards that they also, like if they have Impermanent Ash, I can banish like six. And if I'm playing a mirror match, if I'm playing a mirror match, I can send my entire deck to the graveyard to banish all of their existence. Oh, it says monster. Okay, imperm does not work, but okay. Yeah, you get what I'm saying, right? Uh, I guess. I mean, the problem with this is it's incredibly hard to summon. And the protection that it has is also not really protection, right? It has, it has potentially battle and card effect destruction protection, but like... That's not what most people are going to do with it, right? Like, most people are just going to negate it or banish it. It works with the new poly. Uh, you mean, like, the, the one where you can use stuff from your extra deck? I guess so, yeah. You can't play this in the mirror match either? Wait, what? what are you saying? Why not? Why can't I play this in a mirror match? The first effect, no same cards. Yeah, but like, I mean, okay, then it, it it can be destroyed by card effects. Then that's the only thing. Like, yeah, for the first effect, if you have a card in common, then it's going to be able to be destroyed by card effect, but you can still use it, right? It, it's not like a requirement to summon it. But okay. You know, I, I think the concept behind it is cool, right? The, but like, it's in practice, I think it's not going to really happen. Because you also, you can't super poly for it. I mean, if you could, dude, if it said a light monster plus two monsters, like if they didn't add this to it, this would be probably one of the craziest super poly targets ever printed. Like, we just can't play light monsters anymore <laughs> if, uh, if, that, if that was not on here. Uh, okay. We have a butterfly fish. Now, th there's one thing I'm noticing. Like, if you showed me this card and I just saw, like, this, right? You're like, hey, guess the name of this card. I'd be like, dude, I don't know, dude. I have some sort of, like, sea serpent warrior, uh, warrior guy uh, of Atlantis or something. And then it's just butterfly fish. That's crazy. Anyways. Level 4 water fish effect monster. If this card is sent to the graveyard to activate a monster effect, you can add this card to your hand. Oh, Hugan discard? Okay. If a monster is sent to your graveyard except by battle while this card is in your graveyard, you can discard one card to the graveyard to special summon this card. You can only use one butterfly fish, uh, butterfly fish effect per turn and only once that turn. You cannot special summon... From the extra deck, except water monsters to turn you activate either of this card's effects. Damn it! Not a not a Hugan discard. Uh yeah, this card's terrible. Holy shit. Uh QQ Eneagon. Level 9 fire dinosaur. 
900 attack, 900 defense. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can reveal reveal a level 9 monster in your hand, except QQ Inagon. Special both this card and the revealed monster in defense. Also, you can't special summon from the extra deck, except rank 9 or higher exceeds. You can only use this effect once per turn. A rank 9 or higher exceeds that has this card as material gains this effect. This card's gained 900 attack and defense. Uh... Could be generator support, I guess. It's just like it helps you unbrick in like level nine decks. And the only thing I can think of is generator. Wow. Well, all right. Uh, I think there's more. There's, there's those are just three. They posted them separately. We have Mant Man, the Ultra Human. Which is a level 7 psychic effect monster. Cannot be tributed or destroyed by battle while face up on the field. You can only use each of the following effects of Mant Man the Ultra Human once per turn. If your opponent controls a face up card you own, you can special summon this card from your hand. During the end phase, if this card was normal or special summon this turn, you can place this card on the bottom of the deck. Then you, reckon, you can return one face-up card on the field you own to your hand. I am 99% sure that this card has a 0% play rate in GOAT format. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's more than 99%. I'm 100% sure this card has a 0% play rate in GOAT format. Uh, release Brainwashing. Quick play spell card. If a monster is tributed from the hand or field, except during the damage step, target a face-up monster your opponent controls. Apply the following effect based on which player owns that face-up monster. If you own it, you take control of it, but it returns to the hand in the end phase. If your opponent owns it, negate its effect until the end of this turn. You can only activate one release brainwashing per turn. This card has a 0% chance to see play in LOB format. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're trying to do with this. I feel bad for the trees that um, that went down for Mant Man the Ultra Human and release brainwashing. Uh, Supply Soldier of the Indestructible Insects. A level 5 Earth Insect Effect Monster. Now, insect support could potentially, uh, could potentially be alright, you know, because there is... What is it? Is it Bee Trooper or Battle Wasp? There's support in, in Rage of the Abyss. Uh, when an insect monster's effect is activated, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then, if you activated this effect in response to your opponent's effect activation, negate that effect. Also, until the end of your next turn, after this effect resolves, you cannot special summon from the extra except insects. Is that a max C negate? That's a max C negate. That's very funny. That's, that just gives, like, insect decks a negate for max C. Okay, that's, that's hilarious. During your main phase, you can fusion summon a insect fusion monster from your extra deck. Using monsters from your hand or field, you can only use each effect of Supply Soldier of the Indestructible Insects once per turn. Uh, you know, if, if I was playing, that's going to be a lot of ifs in this upcoming sentence, because I think ultimately it's not going to see that much play. But if I was playing like an insect deck like bee troopers or battle wasps or whatever they whatever the insect kits play these days uh if i was playing that deck and maxi was legal i would probably play this card because all of these insect decks they all they they, they summon from the extra deck a lot or they special summon a lot in general so having an extra out to maxi would probably be fine um which is very funny which is very funny because this is a TCG exclusive, which is the only format that doesn't have Maxi. So it's like, if this released in the core set and they had it in the OCG, maybe that could be one of the reasons to play an insect deck over there. Turns out it's not. So it's gonna it's gonna take like three years until they get it, and then it's probably not gonna be relevant anymore. But uh yeah. Heavy Cavalry of the Indestructible Insects. Level 7 Earth Insect Fusion. Materials, one level 5 or higher insect monster and another insect monster. 
cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. If all face-up monsters you control are insect monsters, quick effect, you can target two monsters on the field, including an insect monster you control, banish them. You can only use this effect once per turn. Okay. This is not a bad end board piece. Yeah, this is like SP Little Knight for insects. <laughs> Insect Invitation. Continuous spell card. Face up monsters your opponent controls that were not summoned this turn become insect. I was just checking if it had to be an insect you control or if you could banish two monsters from your opponent if it was an insect, but it has to be one of yours. Uh, you can only use each of the following effects once per turn. You can target three of your banished insects, shuffle them into the deck, then draw a card. During the end phase, if this card's in the graveyard because it was sent there from the hand, you can place this card face up in your spell and trap zone. Uh, a pretty mediocre card, I think, because... Like, recycling three and drawing one is nice, but not if it's the only purpose of the card. Uh, the end phase effect is okay. You can use it as a free discard. But uh, the first effect just hardly ever matters, right? Because it, like... This would be a very annoying floodgate for some decks if it didn't say that we're not summoned this turn. Right? But because it says that, it's basically completely irrelevant. Which is a good thing a good thing but yeah and then we have Fele nope Felenop sisters level one wind fairy if the total levels of monsters you control are less than or equal to the total levels of monsters your opponent controls you contribute this card add a level seven or higher insect or plant from your deck to your hand during the end phase of this turn Take 2700 if you do not normal or specialty added monster or if a card or a card with the same original name after activating this effect. You can only... Yeah, this card is once again just unplayable. All right, sick. And then the imports. We're getting Rescue Hedgehog, which is cute. It's not super relevant, but it's cute. We're getting Fire King Courtier Volcanics, which is very cool. Uh, we're getting this one, which I have to remind myself what it does. Uh, Cursed Fire King Doom Burst. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effects into the graveyard, target a face-up monster your opponent controls. It loses 400 attack. You can only use each of the following effects once per turn. If you control a Fiend Tuner, special summon this card from your hand. If this card is special summoned, target... Okay, it's just a generic extender. Not great. Splitting Planarian. You can banish this card you control, special summon two level 3 insect monsters from your deck with the same name from each other, but their effects are negated, also banish them during the end phase. You can only use this effect once per turn. Okay, that's decent. Or potentially some insect decks, right? That could be okay. The wording is very weird. Is that just me? Special summon two level 3 insect monsters from your deck with the same name from each other? Shouldn't it be... Shouldn't it either be two level three insect monsters from your deck with the same name as each other? Or with a different name from each other? Yeah, I think I think someone uh, someone messed up the translation, but okay. Um Yeah. Uh ba -ba -ba. I'ma be honest with you. The the overall situation on the TCG imports and exclusives here. Uh, I mean, besides Mimigul, Mimigul, Mimigul is fine. Mimigul is definitely the highlight of the TCG exclusives. The imports, for the most part, only Olcanics really matters from a competitive perspective. Um, the other TCG exclusive cards, I think some of the insects have a small chance. Like the insect deck, the insect support in Rage of the Abyss is not terrible. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how good it is. I haven't tested it yet, but like, there's a small chance that that could be okay. <laughs>